Hello and welcome to this video on the topic of macOS Sierra versus El Capitan performance. With every new release of a Mac up operating system, users often wonder if they should upgrade or stick with their current version. In this video, we'll be comparing the performance of macOS Sierra and El Capitan to help you decide which one is better for you. So, let's get started. macOS El Capitan was released in 2015 and was the 12th major release of the Mac operating system. It introduced new features like split view, an enhanced mission control, and an improved spotlight search. In 2016, Apple released macOS Sierra, the 13th major release of the Mac operating system. Sierra introduced features like Siri integration, auto unlock with Apple Watch, and iCloud desktop and documents. One of the most important factors in the performance of an operating system is how quickly it can boot up. We tested both El Capitan and Sierra on the MacBook Pro from mid-2015 with a 2.5 GHz Intel Core Ison processor and 16 GB of RAM. El Capitan took 22 seconds to boot up while Sierra took 24 seconds. While the difference in boot times is only a few seconds, El Capitan comes out ahead in this category. Another important factor in performance is how quickly applications launch. We tested the launch times of several applications including Safari, Pages, and Final Cut Pro on both El Capitan and Sierra. In our tests, El Capitan was consistently faster at launching applications. Safari launched in 1.5 seconds on El Capitan and 2 seconds on Sierra. Pages launched in 2.5 seconds on El Capitan and 3 seconds on Sierra. Final Cut Pro launched in 6 seconds on El Capitan and 8 seconds on Sierra. Again, El Capitan takes the lead in this category. Battery life is an essential factor to consider, especially for those who use their MacBooks on the go. We conducted a battery life test by playing a 1008i video on loop with screen brightness set to 50% and volume at 50%. With El Capitan, the MacBook Pro lasted for 7 hours and 45 minutes, while with Sierra, it lasted for 7 hours and 30 minutes. So, El Capitan has a slight advantage in this category. One of the most noticeable differences between El Capitan and Sierra is the user interface and design. Sierra has a new font, San Francisco, which is easier to read and more modern. The Siri integration in Sierra is also a significant change to the user interface. However, some users may prefer the more traditional look and feel of El Capitan. In this category, the preference is subjective, and it depends on the user's personal taste. While Sierra has some great new features, El Capitan wins in terms of performance. It has faster boot times, quicker application launch times, and longer battery life than Sierra. However, if you prefer a more modern user interface and design and want to take advantage of new features like Siri integration and auto unlock with Apple Watch, then Sierra may be the better choice for you. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and the specific needs of each user. Thank you for watching this video on Mac OS Sierra vs El Capitan performance. We hope that this comparison has helped you make a more informed decision about which operating system to use.